What's going on, Shady People? Shady Bang, we're here. Welcome you back to the channel. Today, I'm so excited because I am getting my revenge on mystery boxes. You guys, if you missed it way back, one of our first uploads on this channel, I'm gonna say way back like two weeks ago, but I opened up some mystery boxes and I spent a pretty penny getting scammed. That's right. I opened up a total. I think on the channel, I didn't open up all of these because I learned later on how much of a ridiculous scam these can be. But I ended up opening up uh, over a thousand dollars or about a thousand dollars worth of boxes. And I didn't pull a single vintage packs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see them on your screen right here. These are Walgreens mystery boxes. Now, they have a chance of having a vintage pack in them. My good friend Nate has had tremendous good luck and I have not. So after spending about $1,000 on scalpers for these boxes, I ended up getting zero vintage packs out of I think 10 boxes. So what I decided to do is I decided to see after learning that these can be weighed, if I could go ahead and go on eBay and see if any, any scalpers were selling just the heavy ones. And this is where I'm gonna try to get my revenge on scalpers because the vintage packs that are in here can be worth anywhere from 400 to 800 to 1200 dollars depending on what we pull so we're gonna see if we can get revenge on the scalpers now what i wanted to do is show you guys the reason why you should never buy these online unless they are guaranteed heavy is you're gonna see if i weigh this one right here this is gonna weigh 136 grams a regular one that does not have an extra pack in it is gonna weigh around 115 anywhere from 115 to 120. Uh, usually there are some add-ons that could fluctuate that weight but essentially if you see a box and it's above 130 grams you're guaranteed to have an extra pack in there uh, from what i've seen this this is what i've been told this is what i've been seeing during my studies uh, and we'll be able to test it for real today you can see all of these packs weigh 130 grams plus so in theory we should have four vintage packs here that's the goal, right? My goal is to get revenge. If we can get over $2,000 worth of vintage packs from these boxes, then we'll be set. I do expect that by the time this video goes up, people are gonna be more aware of this because of this video. And uh, I think that the prices of these boxes are going to go up because I actually spent, uh, I spent about $1,000 again on all four of these. So I'm $2,000 deep on mystery boxes. And that's why I would really love to make $2,000 worth of packs in here in order to kind of recoup my lost investment and then make some dope content for you guys. So if you guys are excited and you enjoy vintage Pokemon, before we begin, just so you know, an hour from when this is getting uploaded or two hours, I should say, this is gonna go up at noon, Saturday, November 28th, in two hours on twitch.tv slash Shady Penguin, we're gonna be doing a heavy only rocket break. That means that I have over 30 heavy packs that we're gonna be able to go through. We have 20, I think 28 of them right now have been sold and we'll be opening them. It's the best chance to get rocket foils because they're, they're all the packs are heavy. They're all 20.99, 20.9, I think 20.96 is our lowest. And then the rest are all 21s. So they're very heavy packs. We should have a super good chance of having a bunch of foil serotonin. So come on out to that. That's mainly why I'm telling you guys this. But now let's go ahead and see what we can get. So here's what I wanna do. I do wanna open up all the packs in here, right? Cause there's still packs that I'm interested in. If there's Rebel Clashes, Evolutions, we could still pull Charizard. So we could actually end up going super plus. It's just that in our other mystery boxes, not only did I not get retro packs, but I also got completely just garbage, complete trash. Uh, but we're gonna do this one box at a time. I am not gonna look inside. I wanna do this completely sur by surprise because the best pack you can see is this one right here. You can see a base set Charizard pack you are set in the money. Uh, our first pack we're gonna see is gonna be a Stormfront Diamond and Pearl. Wait, so this is gonna be our retro pack, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty positive this is our vintage pack. It's the Stormfront Diamond and Pearl. Uh, the other thing, the reason why the weight matters so much, you're gonna see, we have a base set Sword and Shield. The reason why the weight matters so much is because you literally get a full extra pack. We have a Darkness Ablaze, Chance at a Charizard. We're gonna see a Sun and Moon, base set pack and then our final pack in here is going to be a crimson invasion the worst pack known to man that is the worst pack you can see we got oh look at this charmander wait that's our promo so not only do we get a vintage pack but we get this dope charmander uh here's this code card for anyone that wants it wait i want to sleeve this this is i've never seen this charmander before this is cool i don't know what this is from but it's kind of neat so this is our charmander that we just got it's like a i, I don't know I don't know what promo this is. Four out of 18 for something. Uh, this might actually have a little bit of value. Surprisingly enough for being in the box, just loose. There's a little bit of edging on the bottom right there you can see. 
Uh, and in the bottom right corner, uh, on the bottom left. Okay, so the, the, the corners are pretty rough. Centering is great. And the surface seems fine. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool pull. I kind of like that. That's dope. Uh, and then, of course, we have Stormfront. Now, I'm not going to be opening this. My goal is that for any vintage packs, what I, and this is what my goal is, is to kind of break them. So I would love to sell these vintage packs to anyone watching or fellow creators, whatever. Take a, take some money off of the market value of it and then crack it open on the channel and send the cards your way. Kind of like we're doing for the Rocket Break, except that for the Rocket Break, it was, it's very different because it's a heavy break. It's a full break stream. This would just be throughout the course of videos. I'd love to be able to have some vintage videos on the channel while also recouping some of my investment and giving anyone that wants it a chance at potentially foils and we will also weigh these packs uh i'm gonna weigh the vintage packs because i bought anyone that's gonna buy them to have the best chance possible so this is a crimson invasion we have an electric energy here we're chilling with a fighting memory we're chilling with an alolan graveler look at that art emolga chimeco pikachu misdrevious spoink hound dower we have a fighting memory again for my boy type null and then we got a camera up with one leg up let's go all right camera up you're chilling you're big chilling. Uh, all this is going over here. You know what we're going to do? Let's open these four packs. And then let's weigh the Stormfront pack to see how much it weighs. And we'll do that for each mystery box as we go along. Uh, here we go. Code card for you. One, two, three, four. This is the uh, Sun and Moon base set. We have a Psychic Energy leading the pack. Energy Retrieval. Wishy Washy. Alolan Radder Radderkate. Oh, no, Shady. Radicate. Litten. Cosmog. Rog and Rolla, Growlithe. Look at that. I like that art. Uh, we have a reverse foil of Sharpedo, which actually looks like a dope reverse foil. Good job, Sun and Moon. I like that. And our rare in the pack is a Shinotic. So as far as hits go in the pack right now, we are whiffing. Darkness Ablaze. This is a this is a big chance for a big hit, obviously. Darkness Ablaze has the Gigantamax Charizard in it. Could be super dope to see that come through right now. Here we go. There's your code card. One, two, three, four. Fire energy for the Charizard. Nope, it's steel. Fletchender. Gatharita, Kabu, Aaron, Cubchu, Rowlet, Jigglypuff, Diglett. Uh, we have ourselves a reverse foil bear tick, and our rare in the pack is a foil Koopa Raja. So no hits, and our last pack is going to be the base set Sword and Shield. Wow, are we really? I think we're really going to get zero hits out of this, but I can't complain. We got ourselves Diamond and Pearl Stormfront, which I think is a pack that may just increase in value as time goes on. Uh, because it's Diamond and Pearl and Gen 4 Remix are probably coming out next year. Uh, we got Salazzle. I really like that art. Doug Trio, Pokemon Center Lady, Rookie D, Krabby, Grookey, Mudbray, Hoot Hoot, a Reverse Foil Mantine, which isn't uncommon. And our rare in the pack is a Foil Frost Moth with a faded blue uh, card base. So nothing crazy. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's weigh this pack really quickly. Just to see, uh, I'm gonna wait here so that in editing, I will I will annotate whether it's light or heavy. Let's uh, make sure this is cleared and let's see. So 18.56. Now, some of these vintage packs you're not gonna be able to scale, but I'll do my research. I have a feeling because this is 18, this is probably pretty light, right? Like I was saying, uh, the, the, uh, the rocket packs that we're doing are all 20.96 and up. So that being all the way down on 18, it's most likely not a heavy pack. Let's put this over. Let's just put this over here for now. Okay. All right. On to the second box. Uh, we're still itching to see that Charizard potentially would be real fantastic to see ourselves Charizard. Notice that in those packs, we didn't get a single hit. Not a single hit in those packs. That's crazy. That's absolutely mad. But it's okay. Because here we go. We're going in again. Let's start from the top pack. This is going to be... Oh! Oh, Gym Heroes, baby! Unlimited, but it is a Gym Heroes vintage pack. We take those, we take those. Wow, our promo is going to be a foil Luxray here. Not too crazy, not, not as hyped up about it as I was the Charmander. Definitely not as hyped up. Though we're going to see a Darkness Ablaze. We're going to see a Sword and Shield. A Evolutions, all right? And then a Fates Collide. Along with a code card for something. Does it say what it's for? Uh, Pikachu GX and Eevee GX Special Collection. Cool. That's fun. Uh, and then we have a coin in here. But we don't really... Uh, that's all nonsense to me. Uh, it's a... It's a uh, is that Rush Ram? It's Rush Ram. Uh, we're going to start with the Fates Collide. All right. So we have ourselves a Gym Heroes. Wow. I haven't seen the Gym Heroes pack in person in so long. That's actually crazy. Uh, this Fates Collide tore like nobody's business. Like that was... This code card looks fake. 
Doesn't this code card look fake? I'm going to try to redeem this one. And I'm going to see if it's fake. I'll let you guys know in editing if it's fake or not. Because that's that that seems that seems pretty sus. I'm not going to lie. That code card seems suspicious. Hey, but we are going to get a Diane CEX. It's a different card trick for this pack. I butchered the suspense. And right away, we snag a hit. Cool. I don't know if this has any value, but you know what? It's a very pretty card. And it's better than pulling nothing nonstop. I have to say, I'd rather pull a not hit, not hit. I'd rather pull a hit, not hit than just nothing at all. So we got ourselves a Diancy. That can actually take the place of Charmander, I think. That's a pretty worthwhile hit. And then we have a power memory here. Ooh, for Zygarde. Cool. So Diancy, you're gonna you're gonna be on the come up right here. Uh, I'm gonna save Evolutions for our last pack because Evolutions obviously has a chance to have a Zard in it. That could be super hype. Let's go ahead and open up this base set Sword and Shield pack instead. Uh, and some of these packs, it's so funny when you're opening these, they tear so easy. Like that last pack tore so easy, which is why like, I'm also sus, but it could just be a printing error on the on the TCGO card. It's the, it doesn't have to be something shady. Lumberry, Aurora Energy, Double, thick, thick, thick double. We got a Vulpix, a Nicket, Ball Toy. You know what he's doing. Chinchow, Krabby. We have a Reverse Foil, Boltound, or Boltoned. I always say Boltound, and it's Boltoned? Wow, that's crazy. A rare in the pack is a more Pico V. Dude, back-to-back -back hits? Okay, we take Vs. We take Vs over here. I like you, Morpico. I'm, I'm down a clown. Uh, Darkness Ablaze. Let's keep the hits going. Just give us a very easy, simple Charizard. You know, just a simple, nonchalant Charizard would be fantastic. I would love that. Oh, I'm excited to see if I went minus or plus on this. Uh, I am. Uh, we're going to go with a Fire. Uh, always steal when I do that. Carvine. Carnivine, not Carvine. Carnivine. Cape of Toughness, uh, Metacard, Powerful Energy, Squavit. We got a Spinarak here. Larvesta, Hippopotas, uh, Golet, a Reverse Foil, Kuparaja, and a Rare in the Pack. Oh, it's a Full Art Set of Scorch, bro. Dude, we're actually out here getting nothing but hits. That means the Charizard's going to be in this Evolutions Pack. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's dope foiling. Wow, I think, dude, there's going to be a Charizard in this Evolutions Pack. We've had nothing but hits. I cannot believe it. This box with the Gym Hero Challenge pack has had nothing but hits. Oh, I'm excited to see if that Gym Hero Challenge pack is heavy. That's going to be great. All right, here we go. I like doing a combination of doing like, you know, weighed and unweighed things. For these packs, I want to weigh them. I want to know the truth. Unfortunately, that's our rare. And I did four when Evolutions is three. Very sad time. Very sad time that we did not get the Charizard. I really... I really believed in the Zard, man. I really did. We got a Sancher. I still love seeing these cards, though. Vulpix, Electabuzz, Drowsy, Ponyta, and a Blastoise Spirit Link. Arguably one of the worst reverse foils you can get in this set. But that's okay, because all other packs were hit hits, and you can't complain. So let's go ahead and let's weigh this. Uh, let's weigh this Gym Heroes pack. All right, so here we have a pack that I have not held in so long let's see what we got it is going to be oh 20.71 that is potentially heavy we saw how light the storm front was 18.58 i don't even know if you can scale that that's so light that's crazy i mean you know what it is too though this is a this has a whole less card this has 10 cards so you really can't compare the weights fairly because the gym heroes has 11 so it's it's really an unfair com comparison so we'll see, maybe maybe 20.5 is, you know what we could do? I don't know, no, it's not gonna work. Cause what I could do is I could put the uh, Diamond and Pearl Stormfront on and I could put an extra card on top and then see if that works out to what it's gonna be. All right, on to box number three. I was gonna split these up and draw it out, but truthfully, I just really wanted to open these as soon as they came. Like they just got to the door and I grabbed the box and ran downstairs and clicked the record button. Cause I'm just so excited, so excited to see what we can get. All right, here we go. I'm going to start taking my packs from the bottom because it seems the vintages are on top. So we're going to pull out this pack here, which is going to be a Crimson Invasion. Makes perfect sense because it was on the bottom. Uh, we have a code card here for Sun and Moon Unified Minds. Three, three pack uh, stack attack. Go on the bottom again. We have ourselves a base set Sun and Moon pack. Uh, going on the bottom again, we have a Darkness Ablaze pack. And that is one, two, three packs. So we should have two more in here, which I do feel too. Our next pack is going to be 
a base set sword and shield and i'm just hoping i see a base set pack please please oh it's not a base set pack it's another storm front wow dude oh my gosh well you know what now we can go ahead and do a real comparison we have ourselves the circle circuit raichu as our promo Oh, uh, now we can do a comparison in weights. Oh man, I might've gone really minus. I felt like I needed to pull at least one base set pack to justify the cost of this $1,000 purchase, but uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Let's go ahead and crack these packs here uh, and then we'll go ahead and weigh this next storm front and see what we can see. All right, starting with sword and shield, base set sword and shield, super easy to lift that tab. It always feels a little weird when they're that easy, but i don't know we'll see this might be one of my last adventures in mystery boxes i would say that i would say that if i pull if i bought four heavy boxes right i bought four heavy boxes and i don't pull a single base set pack i might have to call it i might because uh that's just tough man that's a tough pill to swallow we're gonna have a fire energy here to start air balloon pal pad Kingler, I like this Kingler art. It's pretty crispy. Uh, Rookie D, Krabby. Oh, Kingler devolved. We got a Grookey, a Mudbray, a Hoot Hoot. We got a nice little Yamper, and our rare in the pack is going to be a Klolololoister. But it's these are so much fun to do for content for you guys. I think you guys enjoy them a lot uh, just for the chance to see uh, what vintage pack we're going to get. Obviously, there's a little more hype when you don't know you're getting a vintage pack, but uh, just the, just, just, being able to guarantee one is too good for me not to do uh, if I'm going to be doing mystery boxes. And, you know, I still think there's some hype. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. We have a Combuskin, Staravia, Teddy Ursa, Rookie D, Torchic, Trapinch, Jigglypuff, Vanillix, and our rare in the pack is this Lugia. I do love this Lugia art, and I kind of wish I could get this in a reverse foil. It's a really cool looking Lugia. Uh, super dope. All right, we have base set sun and moon and we're saving the best for last the absolute best for last with crimson invasion if you guys haven't already and you are enjoying the video and you want to give me a little bit of luck be sure to show some shady love that thumbs up down below the like button helps the youtube algorithm know that we're doing uh stuff over here this channel has been doing really well and i've been having so much fun between editing opening and having uh ev look at me really derpishly it's just all been a good time it's all been a good time uh, except for the massive, massive debt that I'm putting myself into. That's a little bit of a problem. Butterfree, not free of debt. All right, last pack. Last pack. We have, I, I want to fix the back of my head, but uh, I don't want to touch my hair while I'm touching potentially vintage packs. So let's go ahead, rip open this Crimson Invasion. Literally ripped like Christmas morning paper. Like it wasn't even a question. One, two, three, four. Water. Hey, we finally got one, even though I haven't been guessing every time. Sea of Nothingness. hakamo -O, Fighting Memory. Skido, Pikachu, Hondauer. Uh, we have a Swine of chilling in the snow and leaves. A Star is our reverse foil, and our rare in the pack is a Hydragon, but nothing special. All right, let's weigh this other Stormfront pack. All right, so here we are, the newest Stormfront pack that we pulled, and we're going to see the weight is 18.5. So if we compare that 18.51 to the other Stormfront pack, 18.57. So they're both a similar weight. Uh, they might not might be foil they might not be uh but either way they're probably exactly the same so we're gonna have to see we got one more box to crack and one more chance at a base set pack i would argue that if i don't get a base set pack in this um i don't know how much i can even trust any ebay sellers even if they are heavies like what if there's a perfect weight that indicates a base set pack and i just happen because i bought all four of these from the same seller so what if he just knows? What if he just knows? Oh, the coin is out of here. It's in a little Pikachu coin. Nothing crazy. Our first pack is going to be a Sun and Moon base set pack. Our second pack is going to be... Oh, this feels weird. A Crimson Invasion uh, pack. Our third pack is going to be a Sword and Shield pack. Our fourth pack is going to be... A Darkness Ablaze pack, which we will save for last out of these. Uh, we'll get rid of Crimson Invasion first. And our final vintage pack! Please, please, please. It feels tight, dude. It feels tight. No, no, no! I didn't win! I Hello, darkness, my old friend. didn't win! You're gonna count that as vintage? Are you gonna count that as vintage? 
Are you serious? Ah! Ah! I'm big sad, guys. I mean, these packs are worth something, but they're not. This is not. This is craziness. This is absolute madness. Oh, boy. All right. Let's crack this pack, shall we? Let's go ahead and see what we can see. The snubble from the Pokemon movie is staring into my soul. Maybe that's what the Charmander is from. Maybe it's from Detective Pikachu. I guess so. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh, dude. The sadness in my soul is heavy. It's heavy. I don't even think... We're well, not even going to bother weighing Flash Fire. I don't think you can scale Flash Fire. But I wouldn't leave yet. Because I know that up until this point, I've played a very good game. I've played a very good game of just saying we've had four boxes. But if you've made it this far, I will let you know that we have a fifth box to further test what is happening with these mystery boxes. All right, this is... I've gone in deep! Oh, the same Hydreigon from before. I've gone in deep for you guys, all right? I've spent a lot of money. <laughs> I've spent a lot of money uh, on the on, on, on product because the other box that I got is not 115, but it's not 130. And I want to see what that means uh, when you're looking to buy these boxes. If you learn anything from me, the answer is don't buy these boxes, right? Like, obviously, best case scenario, you get four base set packs and it's like, man, you did good. And at the same time, look at this reverse wheel of Rillaboom. At the same time, this Gym Hero pack is definitely worth more than the 250 I paid for the box. I would think it's worth more. Uh, I don't know about the Storm Silvers, though. I don't. We're going to get another Foil Frost Moth in our pack. All right. We're just going to keep that gravy train going, huh? Here we go. We got a Sun and Moon. I wonder if anyone's actually ever pulled, like, a really good card out of one of these packs. Like a, like a Charizard out of one of these packs. Uh, on YouTube. I'd really love to know if they have. I know that Nate has pulled literally base set Charizard packs on his channel. My friend Nate wants to battle. And me? Could not be me. Could not be me. I think he's pulled like two or three now. We have a reverse foil, Professor Kukui, and our rare in the pack is a foil Sharpedo. Cool foil. Like cool little dark, dark fish. I think it's kind of cool, but I'm not really getting excited about anything anymore until we open that last box. We can see what we can see. All right, here we go. Flash fire, we're not scaling, remember. I have another flash fire pack. Someone, an eBay seller gave me a flash fire pack for free with my purchase of something. And this mystery box decides that, hey, no, flash fire is gonna be, you know, it's gonna be what it is. There's gotta be a perfect weight. There's gotta be a perfect weight for uh, base set packs. That's the only thing I have to think. Wow, Mr. Mime back to back, that's two in a row. And then a Wigglytuff, Mr. Mime and Wigglytuff. Because let's think about this. I can go back in editing and see. Most of these are 10 additional cards. The Gym Heroes is not, right? The Gym Challenge is not 11 cards. So, I mean, the Gym Challenge is 11 cards. So it weighs like uh, a normal, like an old pack. Whereas these 10, these 10 additional cards obviously have a, one whole less card. They're gonna weigh different. So let's, let's think this through. So I have right here my last mystery box on hand. I'm gonna scale it for you guys. And you can see that this one is 127.38. So it's not quite 130, but it is heavier than 115. So all the other ones were above 130. The question will now be, is 127 a scam spot? Like, is there just a pin in here and not a pack? Or, or is there a pack? And not only is there a pack, but is it the best pack possible? Let's find out. Let's find out. Uh, we're gonna go from the back first, of course. We have an Evolutions in here. All right, starting off pretty strong. Uh, our second pack is going to be a Sun and Moon base set. We have a trainer card here for the Unbroken Bonds, uh, Pikachu. Then we're gonna see a Darkness Ablaze, not bad. And there is not, there is not another pack in here. There's Sword and Shield. And what's giving this extra weight, you might ask? This. This GX token that is completely useless for me. <laughs> oh, ranch, man. Ranch. Well, you know what? As to not waste your time, let's open up the evolutions. Actually, let's just save these packs for Manic Monday, shall we? Let's go ahead and do that because uh, I'm a little distraught. <laughs> uh, I will know in editing whether I got $1,000 worth. I have a feeling that I didn't. I have a very strong feeling that I didn't, but maybe I did. 
who knows? If you're interested in picking up any of these packs, let me know on Twitter. Give me a shout, uh, and we'll we'll connect, get connected. But yeah, the prices will be up on the screen. If you do want me to break them for you, I'll do it for cheaper than I put up on the screen, of course, because it's gonna help me make content and open vintage packs. So I figure that's a fair exchange. With that, I am gonna get the hashtag out of here. Thank you for watching, and of course, come through to twitch.tv slash penguin. It's gonna be way more exciting than what just happened here on your screen because we're gonna see dark charizards galore have yourselves a fantastic day but above all else keep it shady